actually. Um, they lay down. And one of the things too to think about is how you scar on the outside is how you scar on the inside. Because we know that it goes deep. So a scar is not super, doesn't stay superficial unless you just kind of barely scratch your skin. But any type of surgery cuts through all of those layers, right? Cuts through your dermis, cuts through all the fascial layers, cuts through your muscles. So we know that now in between her musculature, she's going to have scar tissue that's very adhesive to that, okay? So the um, so I would just assess it kind of rolling with the scar first, right? In multiple directions. So I would not only go this way, I would go this way as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's going on? You're trying to We're speak. just going back and forth with you. <laughs> and you could go right here. So... Um, and still going nice and slow. I want to go right over that, but then I also want to check the sides. So because as it comes into there, I want to see what's happening within her musculature and within that fascial system as it comes into the scar. Okay. The lifting is that I want to see if there's separation, like if I can really lift that scar up. And you guys see, I can't, I can't really lift it as I get close to her umbilicus, I can't, I can't get underneath that and lift it, okay? As I get higher up, I can get underneath there and lift it. And really, I'm just trying to assess what's happening all the way deep down into that scar, okay? So can you guys see that? So as I come through here, I can nice and lift that up. But as I get down, I really, I can't get into the layers underneath of there. So that's going to tell me if she gets down closer to her belly button that her layers are deep in there. This would be a side note is I just want to probably check if she has diastasis recti. So that's where she has separation of 